Hello, people. We're headed to the competition right now. So, we're headed to the cupcake competition, as you know. So, we're just gonna head out here and get some hype. Good morning, people of the YouTube. We are up again. Another day grateful that we can walk around in minimal pain. Thanks to the Lord Jesus. Me and Bob Morley have been relentlessly, I should say Bob Morley mainly, has relentlessly been working on my El Camino. We've been through the ups and downs. Parts hunting, working on things, just getting it all dialed in. We finally ever fired up. She's purring, dude. She's purring. Let's check the uh, coolant level. Coolant level is high, boys. But that's fine. And then uh, we had Mr. B in Atlantic City charge the battery. And uh, right now we're going to take it for the first test drive, see how she does, see how she sounds. She still needs a oil change. We need to replace the valve covers, the valve cover gaskets, and uh, just a couple little things here and there. I maybe want to replace, like, the distributor cap. Who knows? Let's, uh, let's see if she pulls out here, boys. Uh, this is the first time in literally like three months that she will be driving because uh, last time I drove her I, I drove her to uh, Hello High Dispensary and uh, the fan blade broke off shot out and then the car was driving all crazy so from there we replaced the water pump all the belts we got put a flex fan on there with a the spacer we took the uh, uh, I don't know, the fan clutch or whatever off for now. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how she does, boys. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, like I've owned this car since I was 16 years old. Uh, six months before I could get my permit, me and my father were looking for El Caminos all over the place. I wanted an El Camino for some reason. And um, we found this on the side of the road about five miles from our old house in Pennsylvania. Uh, I bought it from the original owner. It was a uh, Vietnam vet who had it for sale. It was white with blue pinstripes when I first bought it. And uh, it really didn't need that much work. It only had like 43,000 miles on it when I bought it. Um, so my dad got it painted black, got some body work done to it, and originally I had uh, 144 spoke date and rims on it because I thought I was gangster. Those rotted out because I didn't take care of them because I was too young and didn't know. The car kind of rotted out, I didn't really know. I crashed the back drinking when I was younger. Uh, crashed the bumper. Up here I uh, hit somebody's car parallel parking kind of dented in the front. Right here was a stick I drove over thinking I was going through the woods in the car. So she's taking a little bit of a beating in her day, but uh, this is my personal dream car. It's a 1983 El Camino Conquista. Small engine. It's got a V6 uh, 229. Uh, pretty much the smallest engine in there, but this is just a cruiser and it will keep you out of trouble goal is to attempt to drive this as my everyday driver for the next uh, year or so. Um, yeah, because I don't have any other car. We bought that for my wife. I have my work van and this is my uh, this is my car. So, thankfully I never got rid of it in all these years, dude. I've owned it for a long time and this rose came with the car. I, I never took it out. So, here we go, we're gonna go for a little cruise down the street and just see how she drives. Shout out Bob Morley for helping me out. Oh, a mouse has been living in here, you can tell by that. But shout out to Bob Morley for helping me out get this thing up and running, dude. Um, it's totally a dream come true. So yeah, let's just take it for a little cruise through the country. I might take her to, to the gas station. I don't know how much gas is in her and uh, 
Yeah, put some gas in her for once. So yeah, cruising boys. Should have checked the should have checked the transmission fluid as well, but we'll check it when we get back. Starting to think the reason I feel <clears throat> at peace where I live now in New Jersey is because every time I bust out the 83 around here, I get so much respect. Just got gas at the Wawa. <clears throat> a, they told me don't get gas in my classic car at Wawa anymore. The guy, his dad owns two El Caminos, a 73 and a 79. They put too much ethanol in the Wawa gas. He said, you gotta go to Sunoco. They don't really ruin your gas the same way. And then like four, uh, three, three or four old heads in the parking lot we're just like saluting this car when I drove by so uh dude you get so much respect here dude it's square body country around here she's uh she's cruising pretty good I don't want to jinx it but she's uh she's cruising pretty good I need to do an oil change my temperature gauge doesn't work it's stuck down there so I have no clue what temp I'm at oil pressure's fine volts are reading good and uh, yeah, so we got to work on that temp gauge and uh, yeah, just do some stuff. What was that? I feel like it's pulling to the right really hard. Like to the point where I got to get out and check it. That's how crazy it is. Watch. Almost seems like the front end. I, maybe it's a low tire. Who knows, boys? I'm just gonna go into the parking lot of Adult World and check it out. I've always wanted to see what's going on in here, dude. Not like for my soul, but just because, like, what is the problem with this place? And the crazy part is, it's always busy. Let's hear how she's running after we drove her. Running pretty good. Hopefully, it's just a flat tire. If not. Not a flat tire. She's looking good, dude. What's the claim? We're gonna bake some cupcakes. Look what we got. We got all the goodies. What are we doing? Um, we're gonna bake some dog cupcakes. Yeah, for what though? Um, um, our church is having a cupcake contest. All right, guys. So our church is having a cupcake baking contest and chili eat off. On Sunday night, we entered the cupcake contest. Uh, the rumor. No moms allowed. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. No moms allowed. It's daddy daughter cupcake contest. So uh, rumor has it though that people take this competition very seriously. So we're gonna. And we're just here to have fun. Yep. Yeah. And Roger's here to eat all the cupcakes. <laughs> pour the mix. Pour. Pour the mix. Pour the mix. Pour. Pour the mix. All for it, thank you. Okay, one third cup of oil. I'm digging a full tablespoon. Dump that in. And then three eggs. You can get the eggs in, I don't like touching. I'm the egg guy? Yeah. Cha-cha! I'll whisk. 
when you're done that. Cha-cha! <laughs> oh. Who cares? It's for the church. Who cares if there's a couple pieces of eggshell no, in there? Right? Cha-cha! Alright, start mixing, but don't make a mess of it. Seems like this is a lot of daddy cupcake. Okay, I got it. I can mix it now. I'm just looking okay. at that. Ew, it's hard yellow because of the eggs. We don't have enough liquid in there yet, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, that's it. Where do we put water in, too? We put water in. Oh. We'll need one cup of water. That's what's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I thought it was just the eggs and the oil. One cup of water. One cup of water. See what I'm saying? Oh, you just, this is, this is, you spray the pan. See what I'm saying? Do that. Spray the pan underneath the things? Yeah. How's our mix looking so far? <laughs> we got googly eyes! Ah! We got three kinds of icing. We have Oreos. We have Jimmy. What do you think we are making in our cupcakes? Leave a comment in the comment section below what you think we are decorating our cupcakes with. A bit more than that much. You like that? That's good. You can use a spoon too, but Mom likes to do it like this. I'm the best baker in the house. I'm the best baker in the house. We are the best bakers in the house. That's gonna be a big one. For sure. Whoa! You get scared when you get the big clumps. Here we go, our first tray of Cupcakes is going in the oven preheated to 350 for the aluminum tray. I didn't really see how long. Let's see what it says on the back of the box how long. 350. Whoa, there's so many. I don't know, between 20 and 30 minutes. 13 and 20 something minutes. We'll check back with them later. Should I get the like stuff open? A few moments later. It is time to decorate the cupcakes. We have this many made. Plus that tray over there. So many made. The goal is dog heads. First thing we gotta do is ice them. Okay. Nummy, nummy, nummy. This is hard. It's gonna take four hours at that, right? That's hot. I thought the chocolate are for to make dots on them. Well, some are gonna be like different breeds. What See how say? it tastes. See how this tastes? All right, this is a tester one. It was a little messed up, so she's gonna test it. A lot messed up. All right, give us the first reaction. There we go, we're putting the eyes on the doggies now. Putting the eyes on the doggies. What do you think they're gonna be? He already said it. Now we're taking the Oreos over here. We're gonna try to break them in half. Oh my goodness. Break them in half. Like this. And we're gonna put them on here like ears of the doggies. This is surely a different strategy. So this is what they're looking like now. Little, uh, cool guys. little guys. Looking pretty good. What do you think they are? We don't know what they are. No they're just sense. some sort of animal. We made them though. They got ears, they got their tongue, they got the eyes. Can I just eat one of these? So it's looking gnarly. Sure, you can try an Oreo. The day of the cupcake contest. I'm headed to a uh, Bible study this morning. 
Got my Bible, all my notes there. Did my homework and uh, we're cruising. And then uh, when we get, when I get back from this situation, I got to uh, finish the cupcakes, work on the chicken coop, and then head to the chili bake off and daddy daughter cupcake event. So yeah, just a little Sunday living the dream, boys. Feels so good to just be able to cruise in the El Camino. 1983 Conquista. You stoked on this thing, boys. Gonna listen to, uh, let's see what I'm gonna listen to this morning. Oh, uh, uh, Ghetto Cowboy, Yellow Wolf. Let's go. There they are, dude. They're opening the, uh, the door to the the place where it goes down. I'm about to go in here and get uh, a little more educated on the Holy Bible. So here we go, boys. A few hours later. We just got done decorating our cupcakes for the contest. It's gonna be gnarly. We have a chance to win now that Naomi figured out the final touch, the nose in the middle, brought the cupcakes all together. But right now we're doing a special delivery of cup cupcakes to Bob Morley's house. I just found out where he lives yesterday. We're not gonna give up his top secret location. If you don't know where he lives, subscribe. Yeah, if you don't know where he lives, subscribe. That's a good one, because we're not gonna tell anybody where he lives. We can't give up his secret location. So uh, yeah, taking the El Camino. Naomi's first time in the El Camino since we got it running, and she's stoked, dude. <laughs> we got the chicken coop gallons that we're gonna get them soon. Oh yeah, that's true. We got the chicken. We were working on the chicken coop all day, day today, and we're gonna get some chickens. Quack 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 quack. quack. <laughs> he already ate the cupcakes, Naomi. They're gone. <laughs> all gone. She goes, if you don't know where Bob Morley lives, subscribe. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> this is a secret fishing spot. He's pulled out 10 foot alligators out of here. Crocodiles. Crocodiles, my bad. They lay on the thing right there, Naomi, and then they squirm into the water. <laughs> yeah, you know what's cool? See that tree? See how that, see how that tree sticking out of the water? You come out here in the morning and the tide's out, the turtles are lined up it. They, they sit on each other's back, like on an angle, <laughs> like this, and then they're this high out of the water. And then when you make noise, they fall into the water. <laughs> they just dump into the water, but they're this big. These are the cupcake cupcakes that we have to present to the competition. They're dogs. See them? Look like little doggy faces. We didn't have the chocolate chip as the nose, and then Naomi came up with that idea, and it really brought it all together. She's getting fancy for the competition. She told me to get fancy, so what other jacket would I bust out than the triple crown jacket? And we're about to get out of here. My mom has to say, home. Oh, uh, we're, 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 we're literally we're, laying on the couch because she's real sick. She claims. She claims. <laughs> Marta, it's on. Hello, people. We're headed to the competition right now. So, we're headed to the cupcake competition, as you know. So, we're just gonna head out here and get some hype. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. I'll open the door for you. You can climb in. Okay. We're headed in the El Camino. I know the headband's falling down. Oh fuck, it doesn't fit. It fits. Here, turn it off. All right, I'm turning it off. Good intro for the vlog. Yeah. We just arrived at the church. I'm about to get the cupcakes. Out. I got them. We got the beauties. 
right here. <laughs> How did you eat some cupcakes? Are you carrying the dog or the camera? Or? Yeah, I'll carry the camera walking. Or I can carry it. I can carry it. I can carry it. Okay. Is it filming? Yeah. So we're headed in. We're headed in. I'm the main guy with the cupcakes. What's going on, dude? How are you? Good, how are you doing? What, what shots are you getting? Let me get you. Okay. Here we go, we're entering the dojo. Emmanuel Church. Oh, we can't go that way. Whoa, that's tight. We gotta walk all the way around. We got gnarly dudes. Right? Where do we put the cupcakes? You tell me. I don't know. Oh, I see him up here. Dude, here we go. Fierce competition. What do you see here? The cherry ones? Ooh. Oh man, look at that. And then this one. I don't know, we're looking pretty good, dude. Don't you think? So right now the judges are in the back room judging the cupcakes. How do you feel? You're nervous? Why are you bugging? Listening to the word of God. <laughs> so the situation is we already had two people come up to us and say that if they were the judges, Naomi's would win. We'll see what the judges have to say. <laughs> the judges are in here. You should just barge in and just be judging. Like, Still judging. You should just barge in and be like, did you did you pick my cupcake yet? Dude, they need to. Oh. They're still judging, dude. We gotta get out of here. It's past our bedtime. I think we won, though. The word on the street is I think we won. So we gotta leave because we, uh, we gotta get back for bedtime. But we think we won. The consensus in there is that I think we won, dude. Three people came up to us and told us that if they were the judges, we would have won. But that old guy's in there just... Taking four hours to judge one cupcake. Uh, mm. Two cupcakes. All right, guys. So we just won the daddy-daughter cupcake thing at Emmanuel. Not officially, unofficially, but we're going with the win. Signing off till next time. Peace.